pin me on your screen. I'm going to go over lecture 15 first for math because it's due today. Okay, so here we have a liquid suspension contains 125 milligrams of medication. A, for every 300 mLs of solution, the suspension is being infused into a patient at the rate of 100 mLs per hour. If the infusion starts at 6 a.m. and the patient needs 500 milligrams of medication A, by what time will you need to stop the infusion? So um, let's kind of look and see what um, the important information is that we need from uh, this problem. So we know that the medication is 125 milligrams for every 300 ml. So if you were to write that out right, we could say 125 milligrams is found in 300 ml of the solution. Um, the this suspension is to be infused at the patient at 100 mLs per hour. So basically it's saying if we were to put it on the infusion pump, we need to run it at 100 mLs per hour. Um, if the infusion was started at 6 a.m., so we need to know when we start it, and the patient needs 500 milligrams of the medication, what time are we going to stop the infusion? So first we need to figure out um, how many mLs we need for 500 milligrams, and then we have to plug that into the rate to figure out um, how long it's going to run, okay? So first, we'll do a dimensional analysis because that's, uh, how do I explain it? That's how I like to do it, I guess. I don't know. I can show you the other way too. So we have mLs. So here we would have the 300 mLs and then 125 milligrams. And then here we need to give the patient 500 milligrams. And I know that needs to go here because I have to be able to cancel out these units. And then if you multiply the top across of 500 times 300, then you get 1,200 mLs. Now you could have done your um, equation, right, where you have 500, because that's what is ordered and what's available is 125 milligrams. And then what the quantity is, is, is 300 mLs. So you could have done it that way too. Um, you would still end up with uh, 1,200 mls okay now that we know that it's 1200 mls we have to know how long is it going to take for it to infuse so we're we're um solving for hour right so if it runs at 100 mls per hour then i know it's going to run for 12 hours so that means that if i'm starting at 0600 and it's going to run for 12 hours or 1200 hours, then it's going to stop at 1800 or 6 p.m. Okay. Um, so that's probably, and, and I'm doing lecture 15 right now, just FYI. Okay, let's go ahead and do number two. I have to go return my, my kids' laptops to school. Okay. 
and you're going to record all the math for 15 and 16 too? Yeah, it'll be, Perfect. I'm going to post it up there for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. My husband just took my daughter too. She had to return hers today too. <laughs> and I got five to return. Oh goodness. You know, it's interesting. Actually, they only had to take their books back. They didn't take their devices back if they were ninth through 11th grade. They had them keep their devices. Oh, so I don't know. Yeah. So. Melissa, well, thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> back to number one. Wouldn't it conclude at 1900? No. Because it starts at six and it has to. Yeah, but it's up. not. You're not giving 100 mLs at six. It's going to take till seven to give 100 mLs. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Six. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. And then let's see. So number two says so that the patient weighs 75 kilograms. This is the order right here that for every kilogram the patient weighs, we're going to give 0 0.2 milligrams uh, per kilogram per day. The medication is 50 milligrams in 1000 mLs. So we have to figure out how much does the patient need. So we're solving for mLs per day on that one. And then is the solution being infused at 60 mLs per hour? And then how how long is it going to take? Okay, so um, here we have to multiply 0 0.2. So 75 times 0 0.2, and then you get uh, 75 times 0 0.2. So you get 15 milligrams per day. And we know that for 50 milligrams, it's 1,000 mLs. And how many mLs of solution is a patient going to need per day? So we're solving for mLs per day. So now we put the 1,000 mLs here because really we only care about what unit is here has to be here. But we have to keep this together. So we still have to put the 50 milligrams down here. We don't care about what's here. We only care about what's here and making sure that unit is the same here. This is where you put the 15 milligrams per day. Then you can multiply across. So you have 300 mLs total that the patient's going to receive. Sorry, I'm just checking my calculator because it sticks sometimes. So now we have to figure out, so this is per day, right? mLs per, 300 mLs per day. So if this solution is being infused at 60 mLs per hour, how long is it gonna take? So we're solving for hours. So we know that it's going at 60 mLs per hour. We need to give 300 mLs. So that means it's going for five hours. Okay, so now let's do number three. All right, so here we have a patient that weighs 132 pounds. Uh, the medication comes in six milligrams for every 20 mLs. The order is 0 0.5 milligrams per kilogram. So how many mLs of solution is needed for the patient? So the first thing that we're solving for here is the mLs, how much the patient's going to receive. But first, I have to convert this, right? Because this is in kilograms here, it's not in pounds. 
So you're going to take your 132 and you're going to divide that by 2.2. And then you get 60 kilograms. Now you can take the 60 kilograms and multiply it by 0 0.5. And you should get 30 milligrams for the patient. So remember, we're solving for mLs. So we know that 20 mLs and 6 milligrams, and then 30 milligrams. You can cancel that out. And then 20 times 20 times 30 is 600 divided by 6. And you get 100 mLs. Okay, now it says, if the infusion is to be completed within two hours, what is the infusion rate? So anytime we talk about infusion rate, that's always going to be mLs per hour, unless it specifically says mLs per minute. Just assume it's mLs per hour, okay? So mLs per hour, and then here we know that 6 milligrams is the same as 20 mLs. So we could put our 20 mLs up here, 6 milligrams, 100, oops. Sorry guys, I'm doing this wrong. We have to take this, 100 mLs. And then the hour is gonna be two hours because that's how long it's going to infuse. See, so 100 divided by two. So that means that we would have to set the infusion pump at 50 mLs per hour, which makes sense, right? If you divide that in half, right? It tells you what it would be. Um, so when you have your little, IV pump or your feeding pump, whatever you're infusing, you would set the pump to give 50 mLs per hour and then it would administer this whole 100 hours within that two hours. Okay, so here we have a recommended dosage for albuterol is 0 0.3 milligrams per day by mouth. So a lot of people don't realize that for kids, there is albuterol that we can give by mouth. It's not always an inhaler. Um, the patient weighs 47 pounds and available is 2 milligrams per 5 ml. So how much of the solution is a patient going to get all day? Brandy, which question are you referring to? Number three? Yeah, the last one. I was writing it down, so I kind of missed the ending. It's 50 mLs per hour. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Okay, so now what we need to do is we have to do a conversion, right? Because this is in pounds and this is in kilograms. So we're going to take our 47 pounds and we're going to divide that by 2.2. And then you're going to get 21.36. Now just leave it like this for now, okay? And then now we have to multiply it times the 0.3. 21.36 times 0.3. So we have 6.4 milligrams per day that the patient is going to receive by mouth. Um, and so how much of the solution is a patient going to need? So we're solving for mLs per day. We know that the solution is 2 milligrams per 5 mL. And I have to flip it, right, because my mLs are on top. So then you take your 5 times your 6.4. Then you have... 32, and you divide that by 2, and then you get 16 mLs per day. All right. So when I'm doing pediatric, 
um, conversions, I usually will go to the hundredth, hundredths place because you really don't want to round this up because then you're giving more medication really than what is being prescribed. Generally, we round down for peds because um, a little bit more of medication can do more to them just because their liver function and their kidney function, depending on their age, is not um, doesn't function as well as in an adult, and and so, and their body size is much smaller. So in pediatrics, we usually round down. Um, just FYI, I think most of the time when you're taking your math test, though, they're going to tell you specifically what they want you to round to when you move further into the core program. It was uh, for problem two, it's five hours. Okay, the recommended dosages for c is 30 milligrams per kilogram per day. The child weighs 25 pounds. What's available is 125 milligrams per five ml. So how much of the solution is needed per day? So the first thing we're solving for is mLs per day. But first, right, I have to take what my patient weighs and get it in the same um, unit, right? So we have 25 pounds. We're going to divide that by 2.2. So you have 11.36 kilograms. And then you're going to multiply that times 30. So if you do that, then you get 340.8 milligrams per day. And now we have to plug in the 5 ml and the 125 milligrams right here. And then we're going to plug in 348 milligrams per day. So five times 340.8 equals 5. Then you're going to divide that by 125. And you would have 13.6 mLs per day. Now it's saying how many mLs should be given per dose, and it's given three times a day. So this is for the whole day, but there's three doses that have to be given out of this. So you can just divide this by three if you wanted to, or if you're wanting to get comfortable, then you're solving for mLs per dose. You would have 13.6 mLs uh, per day. And in one day, you're going to give three doses. So if you do that, then you end up with 4.5 mLs per dose. Okay, any questions on any of these problems? And then we'll go ahead and go to lecture 16.